What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I wanted to show you guys something really cool that I picked up while on vacation in Akron, Ohio. There's a store that I used to go to all the time when I lived there. It's called The Exchange. It used to be called The Record Exchange. There's over 40 locations in the northeast of the United States. Unfortunately, there are none anywhere near Georgia, so I never get to see any down here. Every time I go back home for vacation, me and my wife always go to The Exchange. And when we were up there during this vacation, around July 15th, I saw something really cool. And I, I was reading the box, and I was like, what is this thing? And it's a portable Super Nintendo console. It's called the Yoba Gameware. And I actually have it on already. Let me turn it up a little bit. It's called the Yoba Gameware. And what it is is a portable SNES console that is very, very uh, true to the, the form and function of a Super Nintendo. It's virtually the exact same thing that we know as a Super Nintendo, but it functions a lot, it functions a lot better uh, than the actual SNES, if you ask me. Now, the cool things that came with this that I had no idea about it. First, I thought I was just buying a Super Nintendo portable console. To me, that would have been worth the price alone. Believe it or not, they sold me this thing for 30 bucks. So if you have an exchange by your house, make sure you go check it out. So I was thinking I was just getting a Super Nintendo Mini until I opened up the box and found out that this thing actually has wireless Super Nintendo controllers that actually work. Let me show you. They work just like... Let me put it on the right... Oh, it's on player two. Let me switch it over. Um, I'm actually playing it right now. But my lights are so bright you probably can't see. But it feels exactly the same way as a real Super Nintendo because of the controller. It's, as you can see, it's made in the exact same form of the original SNES controller. Another great aspect about this thing that I found really exciting was the battery. Of course, when you see this on the back of a console, you think, oh crap, I gotta go buy some double A's or something. This thing actually has a rechargeable lithium ion battery. And I charged this up the first day I bought it which is about the 15th, and it still has battery power. I haven't charged it since. These are wireless, and they take AAA batteries, two of them. And since I bought this thing, I have not had to uh, replace the batteries, which is a good thing. This console also has a DC port, so you can plug it in so you don't lose power. It actually has an audio video port, which came with it, so you can plug it directly into your television and play original Super Nintendo style on a big TV, which is extra cool. Of course, it has headphone jacks, volume control, and this is actually the switch for the portable mode or the television mode, so you can like switch over if you're gonna play on the TV through your AV unit. The uh, actual console's controller on the inside is very similar to the Super Nintendo controller, as you guys can see. Uh, it's, of course, it's bigger. It's a giant clamshell design, and it still has the L and the R buttons on this thing. So you can actually still play your Super Nintendo games the way that you always remember. Now, one thing I'll say about this thing, uh, to be totally honest, is it's very, very big. It's not a small console. Uh, in comparison, here's my PS Vita, okay? The Vita is just about as long as this thing, but if you turn them side by side, or one versus the other as far as the width, let me switch this back, versus the width, Look how wide this thing is compared to the Vita. It's really, really wide. Uh, the great thing about it, though, is it's extremely light. I think that this thing weighs about as much as the PS Vita. And um, that's with the cartridge inside of it. So it's just like filled with a lot of air. <laughs> and believe it or not, this is actually a really old console. The first reviews I saw of this thing were uh, from seven years ago. So this is actually a really old console, the Yoba Gameware Company. Uh, doesn't make these anymore. I guess they thought they were going to, you know, really take off with it, but unfortunately, not quite as much. But for me, this is a great, uh, I guess, placeholder for the Super Nintendo Mini, because not only is it a Mini Super Nintendo uh, factually, it's a Mini uh, Super Nintendo you can take on the go, and you can plug it up to your TV like the the real Super Nintendo Mini, and it plays all these games flawlessly. And one thing I'll say that's really awesome about this is the fact that it's so loud. Listen to this. It's very, very loud. So it has stereo speakers, two here. They come out very loud and boombastic, and I love it. And my kids, my daughters, really never never had an opportunity to play a Super Nintendo that much. And so I've been letting them kind of go at it 
and play head to head and like uh, in uh, Mario Kart and, and other two player games that had Donkey Kong Country, they've been loving it. I love this thing. Uh, will I play it every single day? No, but it's one of those rare finds that like if you walk into a, a mom and pop video game store, you might run across. And for me as a gamer, you know, as someone who's been on the game scene for so many years, to have never even heard of this thing, and then all of a sudden I walk into uh, the record exchange and I see one, I had to pick it up. You guys let me know in the comments, have you ever heard of the Yoba? It's called the Yoba Gameware. Have you ever heard of this thing? And what do you think about it? Is it too big? Is it too bulky? Do you think it's really cool? You can play it on your TV, you can play it on the go. It's super duper loud and it plays all your Super Nintendo classics. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. Show support for my channel. Join the Facebook group. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to show your support, you can do it at my Patreon. There's a link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.